So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I'm back with Levi hey, from hey, the Ride Company. Levi, good to see you again. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, we're continuing this series of kind of explaining and demystifying microfiber products. Yep. And uh, today, from what I see here, we have wash media. So all different kinds of stuff that people can use to wash their paint. So I was used to just having uh, microfiber wash mitts to, to wash my cars, but as I see here, we have different styles, different kinds. Yeah. So if you kind of, you kind of demystify that for us, by well, the way. Levi is the resident car detailing expert at the Rag Company. Thank so you. over 20 yep. years of detailing, he knows his stuff, and he's been around these products for a long time. They test these thoroughly. So he'll kind of yeah let us through, uh, let us know what these are for. Yeah, and well, why all these different styles. Yeah. Are, yeah. <laughs> well, like we said, everybody's different, and yep. same with microfiber. Uh, it's personal preference. There's yep. a lot of different ways and a lot of different uses for all types. So washing a car is no different. Yep. Um, most people want the be-all end-all solution, but like we say, again, everyone's different. So, their own. Yeah, so starting out with, you can wash a car with a towel. And uh, many people start, maybe it's the first time they've ever learned or they've you know figured out how to wash a car, period. It's usually with a washcloth or yep. something in a bucket with some soap. Um, but uh, I like using microfiber, and you can use any type of microfiber towel to wash with. Um, the best though I really like for us is this is the Minx Royale. It works really well uh, in a rinseless type of wash. Okay. Um, and for those of you that are maybe just starting out rinseless washing, um, this end of the table works really well for rinseless. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, the Minx, which is just the Minx Royale, which is a towel uh, that has a tendency to get spongy when it's wet, yeah. which makes it very nice for, for rinseless. By the uh, way, guys, rinseless wash, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with the terms, is a solution that you have and where you don't need to rinse the vehicle You don't have to rinse right? it afterwards. Yeah. That, that does not mean don't pre-rinse it. You can pre-rinse exactly. it with, this, with a hose, a pressure washer, with more O&R or a rinseless wash detergent. Yep. Um, but... One thing that makes it great with a rinseless is the fact that you don't have to use a lot of water. Exactly. Um, so a towel works really well. Uh, the other one is a, a chenille yep. fabric. Yep. So we have our chenille dog bone sponge with a jersey back on it. Um, the jersey material works great for scrubbing bugs. Yep. Um, and it's very soft, very delicate, uh, isn't gonna mar or scratch the surface compared to other bug scrubbing yes. materials. Yep. So that's one of the reasons that I like having the, the dog bone sponge. Also, uh, people can clean and get into wheels or vents or things like that on the on the surface of the vehicle with that. And you, when you say chenille, it's the style, but these are microfiber fingers, right? They are right? microfiber chenille, okay. yeah. It's, the, it's again, another type of blend or uh, blend, uh, a, Type of weave. Yep. Um, the way it's woven. Yep. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but for my French audience out there, chenille in French comes from chenille, and it actually means a um, a little worm. Yeah. There so you that's, go. That's so you the can see the little worms. Exactly. Caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah. So again, this is the chenille wash mitt, and again, what I like about this with rinseless is uh, each one of these little worms holds a lot of liquid. Yes. Um, so you're able to to wash, and again, glide over the surface. Um, with these little, with all the little fibers, uh, so it's not going to damage the paint surface. Also, because it's very open, yep. it lends itself to releasing the, the dirt and the product uh, very well in the bucket. Okay. Um, so that's why I like chenille uh, for rinseless as well as a microfiber towel. Yep. Makes it uh, much easier to maybe start a yep. rinseless wash procedure. Yep. Um, for those of you that that have never done that before, this is a very simple way. Uh, the other great thing is chenille works wonders in soap yep. as well. So yep. soap and water washing, traditional soap and water, two buckets or one bucket or three buckets. Yep. You can use a uh, use this because again, very soft, very absorbent, yep. and again makes it very simple to clean the surface of the vehicle. What's the uh, this towel's name by the way? For those this is the Minx Royale. Minx Royale. Okay. Yep. So that's the spongier one. Yes. Um, so we're talking about rinseless washes, but if people want to do waterless washes, so 100% so, no water. So on waterless washes, what I recommend is using a long pile towel, okay. similar to our Eagle Edgeless. Yes, the famous our one. Our Eagle 500. Yep. It'll work. Uh, it's really the best for that because of the long nap of the towel. So yep. I'll grab one of those so you guys can see. So this can also serve as a wash media in yep. waterless yep. washes. Yeah, and yep. we do have lots of folks that do like using this towel also for rinseless washing. But for waterless washing, this is a really great towel yep. for that purpose. Yep. Um, and that just adds to that lineup of... When you're just starting out, 
a towel is the safest and easiest way to, yes. to go about. Yep. Uh, going into a, a mitt or the dog bone sponge, that kind of takes you that next step. But again, very beginner, very easy, very simple to, to learn and use. Yep. Um, for uh, many years, people use sponges yep. to wash the surface of the vehicles. Yep. Yep. Uh, and they got a bad rap. A lot of them did. Um, but for a good majority of us that, that have been washing cars for a long time, a sponge is what you had and that's what you used and it worked out great. You Absolutely. had coral sponges, you had yep. uh, man-made sponges, you had grout sponges, yep. you had tile sponges, all that kind of stuff, different types. Uh, different thicknesses and weights of foams. Yep. Uh, that you'd buy at your local hardware store, by yes. the way. Imagine that back in the day. Yep. There was no, no real detail shop that you could go and buy specific yeah, products Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, this sponge is known as the Big Red Sponge, and it's a product made by Lake Country Manufacturing for Optimum Polymer Technologies. They make foam pads for polishers, and yep. yeah, they're well-known. And this sponge uh, is, is a uh, uh, very high-end foam. Um, and and it's blocks and there. it's yep and it's sliced and spaced so that uh, when it sits in a bucket of ONR, the ONR after a while, I usually recommend letting it sit for at least 24 to 48 hours in a bucket of ONR. ONR, by the season. way, for those of you who don't know, is Optimum No Rinse. So that's from Optimum Polymer Technologies. Yep. It's their rinseless wash, right? And technically, yeah. you could put this in any type of rinseless wash agent. Yeah. Um, it's safe for those as well. But what I do is I like to let this sit because it seasons or breaks down the foam and makes it a little softer. Yep. Uh, opens up those these fingers yep. to do more work. And then you can use this to wash your vehicle because each of these little fingers is very soft, similar to the chenille Absolutely. Warm, uh, fingers. And it pulls dirt up into it. And then it has a very good ability to when you dunk it back in yep. and you squeeze it out, yep. it releases all those dirt particles from it. So this is um, one of the good sponges. This is one of the good sponges. sponges are good. Yeah. yeah. They also make a gold version yep. that is much softer. Yep. Um, and again, they like Optimum, trying to decide, trying to innovate and create a better wash media. Yep. So sponge works very well. There are other companies that do make a very nice sponge designed for washing your car primarily. Okay. So that's a that's a really good one. But again, just kind of going in terms of difficulty for, yes. for that. Yep. Uh, this is a next level, but again, very safe, very easy to use, um, but does have a break in period that you do need to uh, respect. respect. Yep. Uh, then we go into this type of, these are microfiber yep. uh, um, sponges and This is what, kind of the evolution that we saw yeah. over time, because I remember these guys were the first ones that I was using exactly. the Chanel wash mitts, and they were great, and now we're seeing these guys. Yeah, and back yeah. in the day, a lot of people used wool. Yep. A lot of wool wash mitts yep. and things like that. Yep. Um, you can still find them in your local parts stores and things of that nature, but the, the industry has been moving towards a microfiber. Yeah. Um, there are blends and hybrid weaves of microfiber and wool um, that work really well. For us, we're a microfiber company, yep. so we only make microfiber. So yep. for us, we wanted to make sure ours was truly microfiber. So uh, these are 70-30 microfiber. Uh, so 70% so polyester. 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. polyamide. Very, very soft, yep. uh, very absorbent. Yep. Uh, and uh, this weave uh, lends itself to being able to scrub as well as pick up, because it's basically a long version of, of this type of towel yep. in that sense, only with many loops, many weaves, many little, little uh, strands that are designed to, to work in various uh, instances. Yep. So, uh, there are a lot of this style out on the market, mm -hmm. but each one is uniquely different. Yep. Um, ours, we spent a lot of time in the construction process of it, uh, making sure that our in insides were stitched very well, our lining was much softer than many of our competitors. Yep. Um, our sponge was a, a better density, so it would hold the right amount of liquid. Um, and then again, the fibers, we wanted to make sure that our quality and our stitching Absolutely. and things like that were we're up to up to the you know top of the line, and you can tell because by the way, it's a good point that you're bringing up Levi because you'll see many other companies make some sometimes even same colorways. So it's not because you see identical looking uh, sponges or mitts from other companies yes. that they're all made the same way and that they're all necessarily the same quality. Right. So this is truly a 70-30 blend of yeah. quality microfiber. And again, I've walked into uh, you know the parts stores, the automotive parts stores, yeah. and seen versions like this. I've yep. walked into Home Depot and seen versions of 
colorways or styles that look like this, but yeah. you get up close and you actually inspect it, they're very different. Yep. And you flip over the back and read the blend agents of how they use the, the microfiber, and it's vastly different. Exactly. So uh, not each one is the same. They may look the same, but they don't act the same. So, yeah. um, excuse me. The uh, second is this is our other version. It's basically the same color, or, or same material, just different colors. So we've, so got, we've got a blue and a white, gray. And yep. a gray and a white. Yep, and, and they come in packs, right? Yep, and one thing we have folks do: one uses them, they use them for wheels. Absolutely, one for wheels, one for one for paint. My viewers um, know, by the way, you guys. I'm sure you all do it now. It's very important, but I like to have separate mitts for when I'm washing cars. So one for the wheels and one for the body. You never want to cross contaminate the dirtiest parts of the vehicle, which are usually the wheels, with your your delicate paintwork. So that's important. Yep. By the and way, I'm going to link all the products in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So no worries, just follow along and enjoy the video. Yeah, and yeah. the same with these guys. They come in, we have a lime green mitt as well. Yep. And so we have a lime green mitt and a blue mitt. Same reasoning. These, this way you split them up so you have one, Color for, yep, yep. one for top, one for bottom, basically. Absolutely. Um, and then you go farther down, there are folks that really want a very large sponge. That's crazy. Uh, so this is our Cyclone 10X. Yep. Um, same thing, 70-30 microfiber like these. This is a smaller dog bone sponge size. We've got the mitts, and then we've got the bigger pad. Matt from um, Obsess Garage, shouts out to you. I know you love these pads. Uh, Matt, great channel, by the way. So he loves the uh, he loves the pads. I think he he loves the way. Well, he helped design this, but then yeah. he went a different way with uh, what he found would work. So okay. yeah, we're still working on this to perfect it to yep. make it the best pad that it possibly can be for wash pads. Yeah. Um, but this was an idea that was brought about. as why not make a you know there was a lot of people that were using a lamb's wool 10, 10 by ten pad. Yeah. And why not make it out of microfiber? Microfiber. You know. Yeah. And so we, we brought this guy out, and folks love it. However, it does hold a ton of water. It works yep. really well, yeah. uh, but it does hold about a gallon's worth of water That's crazy. in one pad. And so uh, you do have to wring it out. And just like the big red sponge, it does have a seasoning period, as yep. we say. Uh, the foam does have to soak and break down a little bit to make it more manageable and pliable. Yep. Um, so then it works really well. I um, myself. I'm a mitt kind of guy, by the way. This, this is what I like. But again, you have all these different, it's nice to well, see whatever suits you best yeah. and whatever you like. Well, and there's things that like, I like a mitt, but I also like a mitt that I don't have a cuff on. Okay. And so what I did with these guys is I would just tuck the cuff Pull them in. inside and I would still use the, use the mitt as a pad. There you go. Like that, yep. you know, because that's, sometimes it's easier for me and my hand to be able to grab and move the, along the surface, but yep. I can also stick it in and bring the cuff yep. in so I'm not yep. using it. But again, I tried to create a very safe, soft cuff for our customers so yeah, that we could, quality part right we there. could you use something that isn't going to deteriorate, isn't going to break, isn't going to yep. tear or snag. Yep. Uh, same thing with our stitching on the inside, Absolutely. the cuff, and then our lining on the inside. We wanted to have a very soft, supple lining. And there are some places inside for yep. your, your fingers there. You yep. can tell. We have a little, little notch there. in there yep. and a little yep. indent that's yep. sewn so you can have some dexterity yep. that is allowed. Yep. Um, but again, the whole goal is to try and, you know, we're, we're not the first to come out with this type of thing, but we wanted to try and innovate and make ours better than the than the competitors. Absolutely. Um, in in our way, that is uniquely us. Yep. So. Yep. Um, but again, it, there's no wrong way to wash a nope. car. Nope. Nope. Uh, you can use any of these methods. Yep. Um, By the way, guys, I have these at home. I have the Chanel wash mitts from the Rag Company. I have these mitts from the Rag Company. I use them all the time. They're all good. So again, it, it depends on what you prefer. Yeah. yeah. And some people say they they have used the microfiber mitts for rinseless washing and they love them. Yeah. Um, I tend to like the chenille and the towels and the big red sponge for rinseless over these mitts just because I feel that uh, these are very thick yes. uh, yep. uh, microfiber and so it, it releases the release ability of dirt and particles from the surface uh, are greater less, maybe, with than this yeah. than with this. Absolutely. So I'm not saying this is going to scratch and mar the surface but I, I find this works better for, for that folks. type of application, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. This lends itself to soap, 
and bucket wash just amazingly well. This thing yep. holds soap, yep. holds suds, creates suds, creates lather. Yep. Everything that you need yep. a washman to do, this yep. does that. So. so maybe as a quick tip, because I always like to include tips in my videos, and since we have the pro here, might as well ask him directly. Um, I get, often I get asked, how do I maintain these products? So because they're microfiber, would yep. you wash them or maintain them yeah. just the same way you do as a microfiber towels? Yep. Uh, I will try to wash them separately. Okay. Um, one thing I like to do is I'll wash them uh, either if they're, you know, not too bad, I try to just hand wash them myself. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, and then I'll usually always hang dry. Okay. Um, I try not to throw them in a dryer just because I can't ever, uh, you know, you hope that the dryer doesn't damage them in any way. Okay. And I, and I just don't trust a dryer sometimes. So, uh, I will hang dry my wash mitts for that reason. Um, with these, I like to throw them in the washing machine to wash. Yep. Um, however, on the bigger mitts, uh, we do try to make sure that you know you do have them in there with some other towels or things okay. just because that's a lot of foam that's f floating around yes. in the dryer yes so you might as well put it in there with some other stuff just to help minimize the amount of movement that that foam is banging around okay in the dryer but the wash mitt these the cyclone mitts yep uh, washing machine is great not going to hurt them at all so low uh, heat as low, usual low, same thing yep, for the same drying thing. cycle cold, lowest possible yep, heat level cold and cold so yep. I say cold water or low, uh, lukewarm water, cold drying yep. in the sense. And, air fluffing uh, or yep. air drying, whatever yep. option you have on your And then your uh, one thing that we found that works amazing is adding a half a cup of vinegar to these, to the Cyclone line. Good point. If you put a half cup of vinegar in your, uh, either your bleach port or fabric softener port, because that gets released during the rinse cycle, yes. uh, this fiber becomes far softer Absolutely. and, and uh, uh, more absorbent than normal. So, so you just take uh, your plain white vinegar like you have at yep, home, right? When yep, you're cooking, white vinegar dump and that into the port. Yep. That's it. Yeah. yeah, it really works wonders on this yes. style of fiber. It's pretty amazing yep. stuff. And like uh, microfiber towels, you never add fabric softeners. No. That's bad because it coats the fibers and you're losing the performance levels. Because think of it like fingers, like you yep. were saying. So it's like as if you're you're clogging the pores essentially, and you can't make the, yeah. those fingers. Easiest effective. way, it's like a big ski glove that you yep. just put over your hand. You yep. lose your dexterity. Exactly. So yep. uh, it makes it. But like I said, distilled white vinegar works wonders on the cyclones. Yep. Um, you can use them as well on any of your towels or your wash mitts. Yep. Um, but I find these clean up very well. Obviously, if you're using one for your for your wheels. It's going to be a little dirtier, so yeah. you might want to wash that on its own yeah. separately in a washing machine yeah. to really get it to clean. You may have to pre-soak it a little bit. So um, very easy to maintain. There's nothing yeah. complicated about yeah. it. Yeah, and the sponge, one thing that most people don't know, the sponge has to sleep in O&R. Yep. So a bucket of Optimum No Rinse, yep. always let the sponge stay there. Yep. Uh, you'll get a thousand washes out of it, exactly. which is kind of fun. Yep. Um, but if it gets dirty and you want to wash it, a little dish soap and some water, you can clean the sponge out, put it back in the bucket of O&R, and there it's ready go. for the next day. So. so from microfiber towels to chenille wash mitts to um, uh, these foamers, or how do you call it's them? It's a foam sponge. A foam sponge, yeah. yeah. To these microfiber wash mitts and pads and these dog bone versions, you got a bunch of different ways that you can wash your car yeah, with. Yeah, and the dog bones, you know, like we said, they can, they're a good size, an easy manageable size. Yeah. Uh, and so if you've got tighter areas that maybe you don't want to get in with the mitt yep. or lower areas or, you know, wheels or anything like that, they can work very well for all types of different sizes. Same with the pads. The big pads are great for, you know, rooftops so you can get up there, it'll hold enough water. Large flat surfaces maybe. So it'll maybe, clean yeah. a lot of the area. So there's lots of different reasons why we make all these different sizes. And you can and have styles. more than one in your arsenal. Yep. Like you don't only have to have these mitts. If you want to have a pad and a mitt or a Chanel wash mitt and some towels, yeah. you, you, you mix can and match. Put whatever you want. you want in your yep. wash bucket. Yep. So As long as you use safe wash techniques and you know what you're doing and you follow our videos, so both the rag company and Pan the Organizer, we have a bunch of tips, tricks, yep. techniques, all sorts of tutorial videos to educate people. And today, well, it's nice that we, we got to demystify the towels. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to add. No, uh, just that the mitts are fun and they, and I like playing with all the different versions. Because like I said, there's one for just about everybody, Absolutely. every type of style. Yep. So. Guys, by the way, I'll link all these cool products in the description down below for you guys to check them out. Uh, Levi, thanks, thanks for having Pan. me again. Appreciate it. I love the, the collaborations. Um, I'm here at the Rag Company for a couple of days to get to enjoy well the staff and to learn more about their microfiber products. So we're geeking out on microfiber items. Um, by the way, you should check out their channel. So the Rag Company, I'm going to link that in the description under the video. 
And guys, well, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. Um, again, take a second, click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, if you wanted to continue to learn more about car detailing. So equipment, products, tips, tricks, and techniques. Thank you for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, as usual, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.